we are going to discuss how to find the area of the curve x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 that equals to a power 2 by 3 one can observe that it is an equation of an asteroid our claim is to find the area of the curve solution to the problem first we have to write equation of asteroid x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 equals to a power 2 by 3 for our convenience it is denoted with equation number 1 according to area bounded by the curve we have a formula area a equals to integral a to b by dx it is the graph of asteroid curve is uh, symmetric with respect to both axes the points of intersection with the x axis are negative a0 a0 similarly the points of intersection with the y axis 0a 0 negative a we need to compute the integrand y from equation 1 equation 1 which implies that y power 2 upon 3 equals to a power 2 upon 3 negative x power 2 upon 3 y can be make it as a subject which implies that y equals to a power 2 by 3 negative x power 2 by 3 whole power 3 by 2 it is the required integrand concerning the area in terms of variable x now we have to compute the limits of x for this assign y is equal to 0 in the equation number 1 it became x power 2 by 3 plus 0 equals to a power 2 by 3 the powers are radicals free from radicals cubing on both sides of the equation it gave us x squared equals to a squared it is a quadratic equation it has two roots they are plus or minus a so one can observe according to curve tracing curve is symmetric with respect to both axes and uh, in the area in the first quadrant is same as the area in the second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant respectively therefore area in the four quadrants are equal now you can see the graph area of the asteroid that equals to four times of area in the first quadrant that equals to four times of integral zero to a y dx that equals to four times of integral 0 to a a power 2 upon 3 negative x power 2 upon 3 whole power 3 upon 2 dx it is a definite integral in terms of x integrand consists one fractional exponent to achieve this uh, you need to convert in terms of another variable you need some substitution x equals to a sin cube theta is our required substitution now convert this definite integral in terms of theta for this differentiate the relation x equals to a sin cube theta with respect to theta which gave us dx equals to a constant sin cube theta derivative 3 sin squared theta inner derivative of sin theta cosine theta d theta therefore dx equals to 3a sin squared theta cos theta d theta now already we have the limits of x originally 0 to a when x is equal to 0 you need to compute the theta value 0 upon a equals to sin cube theta sin cube theta equal to 0 cube sin theta equal to 0 theta equal to 0 later you have the upper value of x a substitute x by a a upon a 1 sin cube theta equal to 1 sin theta equal to 1 theta gave us pi by 2 since theta equal to sin inverse 1 therefore the limits of theta are 0 and pi by 2 therefore a equals to 4 times of integral 0 to pi by 2 a power 2 by 3 negative a power 2 by 3 sin squared theta whole power 3 by 2 3 a sin squared theta cos theta d theta so one of the common factor among these two terms a power 2 by 3 a power 2 by 3 whole power 3 by 2 is only a 4 4a times of 3a 12a squared integral 0 to pi by 2 1 negative sin square theta whole power 3 by 2 is the expression sin square theta cos theta d theta simplify this uh, 12a squared integral 0 to pi by 2 cos cube theta sin square theta cos theta d theta 
that equals to 12 a squared integral 0 to pi by 2 cos of cube theta times of cos theta will be cos power 4 theta sin square theta d theta. So simplify this uh, definite integral by using reduction formula. We have integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power m theta sin power m theta d theta where mn even exponents m is the exponent of cosine n is the exponent of sine function m negative 1 times of m negative 3 proceed in this way until constant comes n negative 1 times of n negative 3 until constant comes upon m plus n times of m plus n negative 2 some multiple of pi by 2 presented so according to it 12a square times of 4 plus 2 6 6 negative 2 4 6 negative 4 2 in the denominators in the numerators you have a 4 negative 2 1 3 4 negative 2 3 is 1 later you have a 2 2 negative 2 1 is only 1 there is a multiple of pi by 2 occur since 4 into even numbers simplify this one can get 3 upon 8 by a squared Hence, the required area of the asteroid by an application of integration is 3 pi a squared upon 8 square units.